Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's Key Major and I'm back with another video for y'all today. Today's gonna be a very quick, easy video on how Metro Boomin makes dark beats for Young Thug's new album, Business is Business. Specifically, songs like Want Me Dead featuring 21 and Uncle M. Some really dark, evil, yet catchy, up tempo type of beats. If you guys enjoy and learn something new, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you miss any more videos, and let's get straight to it. So, this is the FLP right here. It's very, very simple. I have five drum sounds and then the sample, of course. Now, when it comes to a lot of the beats that Metro did on the album, Album. Drums are fairly simple, but they're very catchy. The sample is what really sets the whole mood and tone and gives it that dark feeling. For this beat, I got a sample out of my Elements of Evil sample pack. It's 40 samples, completely free. Comes with a bonus one shot kit and drum kit. It'll be the first link in the description down below. But, anyways, I chose this sample right here with me and Vivo. If you guys want me to go in depth and make a whole tutorial around this sample, let me know in the comment section down below and it'll be my next video right away. That old vintage type of vibe is exactly what Metro used a lot in this album. So once I dragged it in, I did a couple things. The first thing I did is I pitched it down 600 cents to make it sound a lot more dark, gritty, and then I reversed it. And then obviously, as you can see, I did chop it up a lot. And then for the last half, I just automated the pitch. It's important that every section is something new so the beat is refreshing and not as repetitive and boring. But getting into the drums, like I said, man, Metro's drums on here are very simple. Just like the song Want Me Dead featuring 21, instead of an 808, he uses like a bass. So I decided to use Boo Bass. All I did is I turned the bass all the way up, the mid down, and the treble down. Inside the effects, I just put this EQ, cutting out all the mids and highs, just leaving the bass and raising some of that sub a little bit, just to capture that same sub bass that Metro was using. Then I created a pattern that's very very similar to the actual song So with this pattern, I did a couple things to capture that same vibe. Metro captures a lot of bounce with this sub bass by having a lot of gaps in between. So I grabbed the edges of all the notes and I shortened it a little bit. So now you have this tiny gap in between. Then lastly, I highlighted some of the notes and I just lowered the velocity down here to capture even more rhythm. But other than that, it's very, very simple. Obviously at the end, I did change it a little bit just like in the song to give it more variety and be less boring. Complementing that, I added this kick and this kick is from Green Files Volume 1 with me and Keon. So yeah, the kick pattern is almost identical to the song as well. But one thing I realized that Metro did with the kick pattern that gave it a lot more rhythm is that it's bouncing off from the sub bass. So if I were to copy the sub bass pattern onto the kick, as you can see when the sub bass is very busy in the beginning, the kick only plays once and it has this huge gap of space. And then right here where the sub bass gets a little empty, he adds two kicks in between to kind of complement and fill in that gap. And that's something that I see Metro do in a lot of his beats on this album is he has a lot of instruments and drums and percussion bouncing off of each other. Next, where the Hi hats. These hi hats are from the same kit. It's called the Metro Three Time. If you guys noticed by now, this beat has a lot of space and a lot of gaps in between, and I wanted to continue that type of feeling with all the other instruments. I copied this pattern over, and then all I did is I added a little roll here by highlighting the note and then doing Alt-U. Next, I added this snare from the same kit. This specific snare, I hear Metro used a lot in this whole album. And then the last instrument I added is this cymbal, and it's from the same kit. Except the bass, I put no effects on here at all. All I did is I leveled the sounds in the channel rack. On the master, all I had was this soft clipper with the threshold at negative 13 in the post at 90. And then down here on the EQ, I'm just lowering a little bit of the lows and raising a little bit of the highs to make it sound more clean and crisp. But yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it.
love these sounds you could get in my coding files volume one kit with keon you could get this exact sample in my elements of evil kit which is completely free i just dropped it first link in the description also go to my website i have a bunch of my kits on there but yeah if you guys enjoyed and learned something new don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos follow me on instagram i'm the most active over there and yeah i appreciate y'all for all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one